Hello everyone, this is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading for Capricorn for February 10th through the 16th. Thank you for joining me today. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe and join us each and every day for my daily readings. And just a reminder, these are general readings. So take what resonates and disregard the rest. And this week, I am using Tarot de la Nuit, and that's Tarot of the Night. This deck celebrates the beauty and splendor of the night. Love and beauty can be found in the most unusual places. This is a unique deck created under the feminine French romantic energy of the two women who created it, Carol Ann and Alexandra. Now let's get started. We first have the Nine of Wands, followed by the Seven of Wands, and the Major Arcana card, the Magician. Okay, Capricorn, I'm going to bring this much closer. The cards are dark. And I want you to be able to see the detail here. Okay, that should be good. So, okay, Capricorn. So the first thing that's coming through is that some of you are still very guarded. It's like you're waiting for the other shoe to drop. And your confidence level isn't where it normally would be. But you do have some ambition towards the end of this week. And I do believe a lot of this has to do with the snow moon we just had. So keep that in mind. So, okay, Cap. So at the beginning of the week here, you have the Nine of Wands. And this card is indicating that you're still on guard in regards to something. And this can be a relationship or something at the workplace. It can be any kind of function or group you associate with. It's about you expecting something to happen in a certain way. And this is based on your past experiences, so you're being very careful. And the Nine of Wands card is indicating that you still have courage and strength in reserve to handle anything that might still be coming your way. But this card does have somewhat bit of a warning to it about how you're expecting things to be, and the fact that if you're expecting the worst to happen, then that can be exactly what will happen. The law of attraction is always at work, so try to be open-minded and more positive, as people and situations can always surprise you. And the number nine energy of this card indicates that you're nearly there, you're nearly at the end, of possibly whatever situation you might be dealing with. This is a general reading Capricorn, so this can be many different things to many different Capricorns. It can be jobs, your business, a relationship, your family life. So now at midweek cap, you have the Seven of Wands. So now for whatever reason, You've lost some of your confidence and you're doubting yourself. And this could be whatever you're working on. This could be in a relationship. This could be in regards to your passion. But whether you realize it or not, Capricorn, you can see, you can see her on the card here. You're in a position of advantage. So you're in a better place than you think. So hold firm and stay with it. Whatever this situation is, whatever you're working on, or whatever the relationship that you're in, this card deals with what is truly important to you, what you take a stand on and what you believe in. So don't back down. Now, the number seven energy of this card represents forces that you have to deal with that are beyond your control. 
possibly similar to what you were dealing with over here with the Nine of Wands. Now, for some Capricorns, this can be comparing yourself with the competition, whether it be in business or projects that you're working on. It's that dilemma that things are always looking greener on the other side of the fence. It always seems easier for others, more difficult for you. But if you look really close, you will see that you're in a better position than you realize. So stop comparing yourself to others. Towards the end of the week here, we have the Major Arcana card, The Magician. And now, as I always say, the Major Arcana cards indicate there's a significant change that will be taking place in your life, a milestone. Something's happening, not the normal day in and day out for you. So a new phase or cycle is beginning, and the magic is all in your hands, Cap. You have the power to manifest your desires. Anything you need, any skill or quality is already within you, waiting to be used properly. So this is about learning to take advantage of your personal talents. But with the magician card, this is about having a vision and then going after it. And with this card, you need the intention, but you also need the action to make it happen. Those are the two things that are the key to this card, intention and action. So this is all about taking control of your life and start gathering the resources you need to meet your goals. And as we look at our card here, we see the intent in this woman's eyes. She's manifesting her power, her light force energy. And I love the fact the infinity symbol, symbol the lemnus gate, I don't know if you can see it that far away, but it's part of her belt. It's her core, her center. Oops, okay. So, and some of the other significance to this card is the red roses around her represent the hope for the future. They symbolize passion action, and the masculine essence. And the white lilies are symbols of purity and innocence and a symbol of the feminine essence. So Capricorn, there's quite a bit of balanced energy and resources at your disposal here. And of course, the number one energy of this card is the seed that holds the potential for new growth. It is the starting point or the presentation of an opportunity for you, Capricorn. And this is an energy that must be acted upon in order for the growth to occur. And again, Capricorn, this can mean many different things as this is a general reading. So it's whatever you're passionate about, whatever you enjoy doing, whatever you want to go after in your life, whether it be a particular job or career or the love of your life, starting your own business, doing something in the creative arts, taking that chance, performing in sports, going to the highest level of competition. There are so many things that the magician card is indicating that you have it in you to make it happen. Now the three card spread here adds up to 17, which reduces to number eight. And number eight has to do with influence and leadership, and yes, certainly abundance. This is indicating this card, the magician, is trying to influence you to take the lead to get what you want. So in summary, Capricorn, you start off your week with the nine of wands, which is being a bit guarded because you're expecting things to be a certain way. And as you get further into the week, you're doubting yourself. You're not realizing that you're truly in a position of advantage. And you can truly stand up for what you believe in and what you want to do in life. And then you have the major arcana card, the magician showing up, letting you know that you should be revealing your unique talents and gifts to the world. You have all the tools and the ability to create what it is that you have a passion for. 
Now let's see what crystal the guides have chosen for you this week. Moonstone. Okay, the moon cycles. All right, Capricorn, your angels and guides have chosen the crystal moonstone because it's time for you to pay attention to the moon and its cycles and what effect they have on your moods. And we just had the snow moon this past Sunday. Many of us are very connected to the moon and its energy. So ask yourself, how do you feel during a full moon? Do you feel energized or do you feel very emotional and drained? And everyone reacts differently to the moon. So this week, the guides are telling you to focus your attention inwards and try to listen with your physical body and your intuition. The crystal moonstone is associated with your crown chakra, and it is an excellent stone to use in meditation and to connect with your intuition. So this week, dealing with the the seven and nine energy here, it's a good idea to have Moonstone with you so you can tap into your intuition so you won't be doubting yourself. And the snow moon just days ago could be why you are not as confident as you usually are, Cap. There are so many wonderful properties to this crystal Moonstone. I actually keep mine in my car because it's also known as the Traveler's Stone. Keeps you safe. It wards off road rage. <laughs> so it will provide spiritual nourishment and sustenance to assist you through all the changes this week, Capricorn. So be sure to, to have your crystal moonstone on hand. Thank you for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. For additional guidance through a private reading, click on my website link below. Love and abundance to my Capricorn family.